Hi guys, today in this video, we're gonna be covering just how much insulation you're gonna need in your home. Now, before we talk about how much insulation that you're gonna need in your home, you're first gonna have to understand what R value is. So, what is R value? R value is the amount of thermal resistance that a particular insulation has. So, the higher the R value, the more thermal resistance that particular insulation is going to have. So, pretty much, the higher R value, the better that that insulation is going to be at not allowing heat to travel within that insulation. Now, how do you know how much R value you're gonna need? Well, right here in this bottom left-hand corner, you're gonna see a map. I live in the state of Florida, so I have a low R value needed because the state of Florida is a very hot state. So if you are in located in Maine, like you see here in the seventh section, you're gonna need a higher R value because you're trying to maintain as much heat as possible in the house since the outdoor temperature is gonna be very cold. So you're trying to trap as much heat as possible. So how much insulation do I exactly need is gonna vary on your state. The amount of insulation thickness is gonna vary based on the R value like we talked about. So I live in the state of Florida like I mentioned earlier. So my R value is around R38. So you can see here that most panels are going to have about 7 inches of thickness here between your ceiling floor and the ceiling joist where it ends. So the general rule of thumb is you want your insulation to cover your ceiling joist. So you can definitely see that there's a lot of insulation missing in that one. Over here you can see that the insulation is better. You can see in the corner that the insulation is covering that ceiling joist, so you don't see the ceiling joist at all over here in this panel. So going back to this panel over here, I would definitely add more insulation to fill that hole. So the amount of insulation that you're gonna need is obviously gonna vary depending on the type of insulation that you buy. So I'm gonna break it down for you guys pretty simple. So every insulation that you buy is gonna have a particular R value rated on it. So all you do if, so for example, this right here is gonna simulate bat insulation. I know this is a filter, but let's just imagine that this is fiberglass bat insulation. Let's say that this one right here is rated at an R value of R13. If we wanted to get to R38, which is required for my state in the state of Florida, we would take one, two, and three of the fiberglass bat insulations stacking them on top of each other which would give you an R value of R13 times 3 which is R39 so that's all you pretty much do to figure out how many inches of insulation you have so for example this right here is blown in insulation and it's cellulose blown in insulation so all you would have to do is say okay how much R value does this insulation have per inch and then pretty much, if it's say, for example, let's say that this one is usually rated at about, I think it's three um, um, R value per inch. So that would mean at about seven inches of this particular um, you know, installation, you're gonna be at around 22 R value. So you would want probably a little bit more, probably about, you know, about 11 to 12 inches of this blown in insulation. So all you need to do guys, look at the R value, how many inches is that R value and just stack them on top of each other. You can even do bad insulation and you can throw some blown in insulation on top of that bad insulation and you can add those R values together which would give you the R value, the total R value. So the main thing is guys, is the total R value of all the insulations combined together. 